So it's a beautiful late January morning. Uh, we're here at Wolseley Park, estate in Staffordshire. Uh, today I'm beating, so I'm giving Steve a hand. Uh, he has his pheasant shoot here, which normally I'm on the other side of the line shooting pheasants, but uh, today it's a syndicate day and he's asked me long to, to give him a hand. So, Steve, what's going on today? Right, so it is the last syndicate day of the season. We're pretty much late on. We've come up here on the back of these clear fells. You can see behind, we've got um, one team of beaters gone that way, the other team are bringing it around this way and hopefully we'll meet in the middle. We're doing probably five drives today. We will do this drive, which we call Lion's Leap. Then we're going to go and do Round Hill. Then it depends, numbers on the on the doors light, but we'll probably go and do the gate then and do um, Sean's Garden, finish off at Canada. We like to finish off at Canada, although everywhere's a bit sparse this time of the year. It is a nice drive to finish on and the birds it's out there. It's a spectacular also. drive, but you have been shooting the birds. It's quite, you've done very well this season. Oh, crikey, yeah, percentage. very, very well. Uh, so, so how critical is it really to, to try and get as wide as you can and, and, and bring the area in to, to get the birds over the guns? Well, this time of the year it is because they're all getting a little bit wise and um, we've got plenty of beaters today. So it's we're right on the extremities of really my boundary to push it in. So. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot of walking for the guys today, but um, we'll feed them well at dinner time and hopefully they'll appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> so. I brought little Princess Bonnie out today, my little Cocker Spaniel here. She normally uh, sleeps in front of the fire or occasionally lies in the bed. So for her, it's uh, you know it's, it's pretty exciting. She uh, she's not, It's all very new to her. She's not entirely sure what to do, but she just seems to revert straight to type. So Spaniels just seem to know that they're here to run around in front of you and flush birds. So oh, uh, She hasn't gone anywhere yet, has she? So, no. so it's all good. It's all good. She's probably scared that she's going to be carried away by one of those big Labradors over there. Yeah, um, uh, but it's a beautiful day, and, and, and yeah, I'm really pleased with the syndicate that they've managed to get this day because it was snowing hard and raining hard last night. It was. It was an awful night at half yeah. past nine, ten o'clock, yeah, wasn't it? It brightened up beautifully. So that was drive one, that was a leap, uh, one of Steve's signature drives. Uh, what a lovely walk. About 9.30 last night, it was tipping down with snow and wet and rain. I wasn't entirely sure what to wear, but it's turned out bright. It's a little bit cold, there's a little bit of wind in the air, uh, but a nice brisk walk in the countryside uh, always warms things up. Now on a day like today, uh, you've got to dress practically. Uh, normally when I'm shooting, I wear tweed or something that keeps me warm when I'm stood still, but obviously uh, we're walking quite long distances over undulating ground today. Uh, so I'd chosen the uh, Deer Hunter a Mouflon light suit, uh, layered up underneath it with a couple of base layers, but something uh, lightweight, breathable and waterproof so functional technical clothing but as you can see uh, it, it is a fantastic day shooting uh, isn't just about the shooting a wise man once said uh, and the army of people that, that it takes to, to put this event on for the day uh, is nothing short of breathtaking uh, the beaters that come and drive the birds towards a gun guns the army of pickers up uh, that use the dogs to collect all of the fallen game obviously the guns themselves who have uh, paid for the privilege of being here and shooting these birds it's, it's a really impressive well-oiled machine and Steve should be very proud of himself. But that's only one drive, there's five more to go and plenty of work to do, so uh, I'll best catch up with the guys.
So what a great way to finish uh, an incredible day. That sounded from where we were pretty epic. It was absolutely outstanding. You'll hopefully you'll see it on the camera, but there were some birds there. I tell you now, you'll go anywhere in the country and they'll not be as good as that. They were absolutely fantastic. They say save the best to last and hopefully we did. Well, this is Canada. This is one of Steve's signature drives. So it's known for throwing some pretty high partridge and some uh, pretty smoky pheasants. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a really different experience being that side of the line because normally you're here um, it's all very exciting as you, you can see the birds coming and then you're straight into it but it's actually just as exciting for me coming from the back hearing the birds go and then hearing the shots in front yeah it almost feels I'm more excited that the guns are shooting than, yeah, yeah. than, than they are it's, you know it's, um, it's, it's great when it all comes together isn't it it's fantastic it's a real good experience I'm glad you've enjoyed it yeah yeah it's not your first time beating obviously no, I've been... this is where we caught the teeth when we were this big right absolutely this is how I used to earn my pocket money right, right. Um, but you know the past few years I have beat you know probably once or twice a season yeah. uh, but you know I've really enjoyed it today you know obviously the weather makes a difference uh, a bit windy now but it's been a beautiful bright sunny day uh, a little bit cold but as soon as you get walking up the hills here uh, that then you can soon warm up and you've got a lot of rolling topography behind the scenes there. We have, we go a long way back. But you've got a fair army of beaters but I don't know how you could do it with any any less than this really because otherwise you'd have huge gaps appearing in the line. That's right, we do cover a lot of ground, we cover a lot of ground and um, I've probably got more of a bigger beating team than most places around here really but like you say, we need them yeah. and without them you can't produce drives. Well like I think it's just made the day a lot easier for everybody because we can just hold that line, move together as well. We're not running between patches here and getting in little holes and no. stuff. And I think it's really well. My dog Bonnie, she's had a brilliant day. And she's been a good girl. She's she been has. outstanding. Absolutely uh, outstanding. When you have a spaniel, you're always slightly nervous. It's going to run into a drive and flush all the birds at once and you get a kind of telling off from the keeper. But she's been very good. I just want to say thank you so much for a great day. Thanks to the beaters for making me feel so welcome. And, um, and hopefully we can do it all again soon. Glad you enjoyed it, mate. Thank you. It's been great. It's been a real good day. Really good day.